And another hot ticket in town tonight at the Boston Garden. A hometown boy is making his dreams a reality. Chart-topping Bobby Brown is performing his first show at the Garden as the headline act. That's something he's dreamed of since doing, uh, of doing since he was a little boy growing up in Boston's Orchard Park neighborhood. Marcus Jones talked with Brown about his skyrocketing success. If you were looking to bet money three years ago when Bobby Brown split from the popular singing group New Edition to begin a solo career, that today he would be one of the biggest names in the music business, you probably wouldn't have had many takers. But it's a bet Bobby surely would have taken, because this once little boy from Boston's Orchard Park housing development has always believed he was destined for the limelight. And they said I was crazy, huh? It's been a while in coming, but since last summer, when Brown's second solo album, Don't Be Cruel, started burning up the charts, people have stopped thinking of him as simply that guy who left New Edition. The way we planned it, it seemed like it was perfect because the people was was waiting on a, another solo artist. I think they was, you know, not to say anything about you, Mike, but, you know, they was getting sick and tired of the Michael Jacksons and the Princes and all these different, different kind of images, I should say. You know, you know, these people that, you know, make their self up to be something that they're not. And um, I don't make myself up to be nothing. You know, I'm just me, and I'm a performer. And if people like performing, performances, they, you know, come see the show. Bobby Brown! Last night, Brown came home to accept honors at the third annual Boston Music Awards show. Two years ago, when the awards show debuted, the reception for Brown was much less enthusiastic. I just can't know what to say. This big room of all musicians, music lovers, and ain't no one singing with me. It didn't really bother me. I was, I just had to prove myself, you know, and it takes time to prove yourself. You can't, you don't get over in one day. And you just gotta work hard at it, and that's what I did. I see nothing wrong. But now, even in Boston, Brown is treated like a superstar. I just walked downtown and, um... Really? Got you, chased. Really? <laughs> <laughs> we got chased. For the first time ever in Boston, I got chased. And, and what, are the, they, what, are, what do you think they're going to do, I mean, if they catch you? I don't know. All them girls... Ain't no telling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ain't no telling. They be grabbing the spots you don't want them to grab. <laughs> like, whoa! Look at these hands coming from. <laughs> you just don't feel... No one can tell me what to do. Cause what I'm doing, I'm doing you. Who are you talking to in that song? Are you telling all the folks who didn't believe you? All the folks that didn't believe in Bobby Brown in the beginning. Um, the people who said, you know, I could never make it. People who said, you know, you're a bum and you, you'll never be anything. You know, those people, you know, the teachers that I used to... They used to teach me in school. They, yeah, they used to put me in a corner, you know, all of them, you know. It's for all of them. All total, Brown's been making hit music for almost a decade. Yet, he was only 20 years old on his birthday last February. Never he's achieved success on his own terms, and he still has big plans. I want to I wanna chain a dance schools around the whole world, you know, and once I get that, that's then, you know, Bobby would be happy. It just didn't go. For the 10 o'clock news, I'm Marcus Jones.